jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Thank you for listening. Just to let you know that I do also have other podcasts that I do regularly. There's the Let Me Bore You to Sleep podcast, which is pretty much daily. And in that one, I just pretty much talk rubbish for about an hour. It's a little bit silly, to be honest. Um, the other ones I've got Sleep and Relax Hypnosis Day. subject it's a little bit pointless but it's very boring and uh, you may find useful to help you relax and fall asleep I can't remember what other ones I do but I do a few so maybe check them out they're all available on all the different podcast hosts like Spotify and iTunes as well as being on my website oh I just remembered one uh, Jason <laughs> it's weird I can't even remember my own podcasts Jason's Bedtime Story Time where I fairy tales and stuff that's just uh, again it can be a little bit silly but it's I guess a lot of what I do is gives you the opportunity to move away from what you're thinking gives you a break a rest from thought that may not be positive that may not be useful to you so that you can relax for a little while or maybe even drift off to sleep it's just I think it's nice to be able to take a step step back from your own life, you know, the pressures, the tents and stresses of life, and to take a, like a mini break, a mini holiday, allowing yourself to relax your body slow down your mind and some of that sense of relaxation and comfort will continue after the recording is completed so you can go out and enjoy the rest of the day feeling a bit more relaxed a bit calmer and the more often Listen to me. The longer that feeling of well being can continue to the point where you may start to notice that certain things that used to bug you or annoy you in the past don't seem to even touch you or affect. 
affect you now. Because the half hour here, 20 minutes, however long you spend listening, maybe you listen for five hours to the, with the music ones. starts to build a foundation of calmness, which then becomes available to you whenever you require it in your life, it becomes, it's almost like it's there in the background, you know, you know like a mobile phone, you've got the apps working in the background, this can be something that's just functioning in the background, ready to support you in those moments of need. Just to take the edge off, to take the stress away, so that things become more manageable. That tension that used to build up doesn't seem to do that anymore. It's almost as if you've got that bucket of water and there's a tiny little hole in it. It's almost unnoticeable. So the tiny drips of water are leaving that bucket all the time so it never gets full or a bit like a balloon or an airbed that has a tiny hole or a puncture in a wheel in an inner, inner tube of a bicycle wheel you pump it up and it feels like it's full and then 20 minutes later you can feel that, although it's not flat, you can feel that it's not full anymore. Yet with your eyes, with your, with your vision, you can't see where the air is coming out. So you need to put it in some water to find where the air is escaping. Instead of what we would normally do by either changing it or filling the hole in, repairing that puncture so that no air can get out, we do the opposite. Because once we know that the stress and the tension in your body and your mind is continually escaping. It's happening and once you know that it's happening you start to notice the benefits of that constant continuous release of tension anxiety stress and negativity without any effort from yourself that's the best part of it you don't have to do anything 
those holes to release tension and stress, anxiety and negativity. To the point where actually every muscle has one of those little holes that releases the tension out of those muscles. the only way negativity can enter into your mind and your body and consequently into your life is with your permission or when you're not noticing it's almost in a way set these little traps up you have like a piece of string with some bells on it so when the negativity enters into your mind it rings the bell and you notice that negative thought and then you decide just banish it from your mind, push it out, let it go, deny that negativity entrance to your mind and your life. So it's always a choice. Increased 
as you start to wrap your mind around the fact that you, yeah, you actually can decide for yourself how you're going to feel. When you decide for yourself that you're not going to be a victim of circumstances, and you're not going to be dictated to by your environment, and you're not going to let other people control how you feel, because no one ever could, no one's ever been able to control your stress levels, ever. Deciding to let go and to relax deeply whenever you need to, knowing and remembering that that stress and tension and negativity is continuously leaving your body and your mind all the time. So 